Alright guys, day 19. Let's hop right into it. So mobilized uh, troops. Actually, see, what did y'all... Yeah, so y'all want to know about this. So, I attacked Tunisia. Research got done for some things. Heavy bombers in like 6 hours. I think it's a little bit late on that though, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Let's uh, check up here how this going. Alright, co. K O K. But yeah, it's probably because there's like legit airport. I mean, hospital here. But yeah, our ally. Allies attacking Syria. They're still nuts. Oh, there's Armenia. Armenian. Okay, yeah. That did not the last day pass. Shiaiat's insane, though. But yeah, we're close to war with these MFs. It be like that sometimes, though. So, yeah. Oh, Kenya does have quite a bit of ships, so those little Corvettis up for gates. Destroyer, Frigate, Task Force would be for multiple. Does this guy not have any cruisers? This is, oh wait, this is Mozambique, okay. Yeah. So Vic went infantry route. So yeah. Uh, day 20, which will be in a few hours, which basically means that special forces will be able to do amphibious water landings. Very important. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to have to like, ramp up production of my cities, though. Perhaps insane, you know? Because, like, I'm making a lot of components now. Not a lot of com supplies, though, interestingly enough. Um, unless it's the level 3 place, then I'll be building area units. So I think that'd be, yeah, this one. And here, we'll build a better air base. Social force is almost done. Over here, I believe we can now finally mobilize these. So yeah, basically, almost on a wide scale, I can produce people now, like, air mobile, mostly. And how much will it take for heavy bombers? That's a lot, but we should be able to manage it, though, is the thing. Also, we have quite a bit of air mobile troops, honestly, just waiting at these spots. So, uh, yeah. It be like that sometimes, though. Fo show. Fo show. So, I'm actually going to do something very, very nutty. Once the third special forces is done, we'll have three of these guys. They'll be able to hit pretty hard. But, I'm actually going to have them move up to Poland, which I believe will take at least a day, if I'm not mistaken. Even with all this. Right? So, ideally, I want, I want them to actually go around. And to like move in, probably like through here, for example. Yeah, that's going to take a day and nine hours. So Basically, once they start getting training, let's see, how long would it take for them to get amphibious, though? 14, yikes. Okay. 20 for 10 seconds, yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. But yeah. I need to increase my air mobiles, my air mobile, my anti, my mobile anti-airs capabilities, though. Because I have one on each city, which is good protection. But I kind of want to spread them out throughout the country, but thing is, I need supplies. And uh, I don't think I've been really been keeping a good track on that. And we can't really buy any. So, yeah. But, since now, we finally have enough. Four, yep. Yeah. To win Poland's capital, because I very much doubt he has anti-agent stuff. This should be a city for him. At least a main one, I believe. But yeah, that'll take a lot of money out of my daily, though. We're talking about, uh, eight... Uh, wait, counter-ops? What do I have counter- I always have counter-ops. Do they always have counter-ops? 
On your capital, actually? No. Where? Where? Where the hell do I even have counter offset? Because they can only be on friendly buildings. It must be because he was um in saying I was already scouting, but yeah, this is Pullman, yeah. Actually, yeah, and I'll also do Lublin. So I have to buy one more for that. So Lublin will also get two. Okay. So that's twelve thousand a day. So yeah, now I'm making only sixteen thousand instead of twenty eight, which is still good. Yeah, that's gonna... Well, actually, is it? I don't know. But yeah, we're getting spy set up finally, so that's good for us. Um... Ideally... Okay, funny, I'm artillery up closer to the front lines. For one. Because, like, if I have to fight, then I need to have, like... I need to be ready, essentially. And having these guys in the mountains, it should be okay. Because if you see them, I can just say, oh, it was just for the enemies or whatever. Total to BS, by the way. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, since this is a player, I should be able to move this guy in without being seen because it's on AI players so they can't just declare war when they feel like it but uh, yeah I'll move this guy up here into Bordiox your ally Mozambique sent you a message Kenya you need to change this to China to peace I mean we got discord though <laughs> which sadly is a counter to spies honestly but it doesn't stop them from knowing intelligence like, uh, what kind of research you got, your relationships with people, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's gonna do it with this one, though. That's gonna be it, guys. I'll catch you next episode tomorrow. Hopefully this new audio thing ain't messing up, y'all. Peace.